Hello, my name is Takuma Nakata. I'm an interaction designer based in Kyoto, and welcome to my VDE beta graphics tutorial. So today, I just mentioned uh, this is not a tutorial video. I'm gonna talk about the brand new uh, VVV Gamma Stride Engine implementation. So for some of you who've been following this beta tutorial, might have already realized that v there's two different versions of VVVV, which is the beta and gamma. And since our beta, the one that I've been doing the this tutorial has been like 15 years long or maybe longer, uh, so the, the developers decided to, the team decided to rebuild the entire engine with a new like way of thinking and things like that. And they, they're now calling that a uh, VVV Gamma. And it used to be called VL and things like that. And uh, you can actually implement some of the patch made in VVV Gamma into VVV and use, use it. Um, there's a big difference actually. So VVV beta only allows you to use like single thread on CPU. But on the other hand, if you use VVV Gamma, then you can actually use the entire thread in your CPU. So I once did a machine learning uh, installation using VVV beta, but the processing side of for the machine learning was done using VVV gamma. So that kind of usage is really, really for VVV gamma is really, really strong. However, the reason why I've been giving a VVV beta tutorial is that uh, VVV gamma is still under development. I mean, it, you can already use it and it's really powerful. But if you want to do something graphical, VVV Beta has tons of cool plugins made by all these talented people. So like field trip SDF stuff or like uh, particle stuff. And uh, also the way of thinking, it's still easier for... Uh, CV Gamma is still a bit difficult to, to understand the logic. If you get it done, if you get it like learning, then you get the, the image. But still, if you want to make a cool graphic, there's a long, long, how to say, learning uh, path. And on VV Beta, right now, it's really stable and super easy to use. And that's the reason why I've been making a VVV Beta graphics tutor instead of doing VV Gamma stuff. However, I've been waiting for this feature. So VVV Gamma together with Stride is a game changer. And today I want to talk about that. Uh, so if you, you might have already noticed, uh, so VV team just, I think it was a week ago, they announced this. VL Stride early access available. So VL Stride, VL is the VVV Gamma with different name, but they're both the same. So really cool. So Stride Engine is a game engine. Uh, Stride Engine is a game engine, and uh, it's something like Unity or Unreal Engine made by I think I forgot. I think it was from the Japanese company. Uh, what is it called? It used to be called Zenko, and right now it's called. Uh, Stride, so it's a game, a game engine, and what's cool about like implementing game engine into VVVV is that v whenever you create like a generative graphics, um, VVV is really handy. But in other hand, if you have like a specific scene, like buildings or like I don't know some sort of like gaming scene, together with uh, generative stuff, it's still really hard to like you have to import OBJs or FBX. But with this Stride game engine together with VL. You don't have to hesitate with that kind of stuff. So making like interactive installation with so, so, some sort of like game interaction will be way more easier with this implementation. So I've been waiting for this for long and it's finally here. So I purchased VVV Gamma. So you have to pay for Gamma. Oh, and, and then you could get the early access and I have it opened on my desktop right now. So this is the brand new one. So I'm going to show what you can do here. Um, if you're interested in uh, joining it, you have to purchase for VVVV Gamma. I think it was somewhere here. And then you'll get the uh, access to the brand new VVV Gamma uh, beta like development. And then you should be able to install this. Right now, I think it's 20% reduced price. And if you have VVV Beta as a license as well, you get more reduced. So it's a good time for you if you haven't purchased one of those. And they're also, I think they're planning to release the free version or like at least for everyone on Node 20, which is happening on uh, August. So you can also wait for that. I couldn't wait, so I purchased it and I decided to make a video out of it. So this is, if you haven't opened VVV Gamma, this is how VVV Gamma looks like. So there's, as VVV, there's nothing. 
but the way you get the node out is different and there's no help patch for example like f1 doesn't do anything i guess uh, so let, let me just open our friend here, for example pressing f1 doesn't really open up uh oh there is a help patch but not for this one anyway there's a lot of like ui difference the way you play around it's similar but it's a bit different but today I'm, well, I just want to show how uh, Stride Engine could work for you. So uh, this is just a place. So I'm not going anything deep. I haven't really understood the place. So uh, scene window, I think it's this one. And then I want to add, what was it? Uh, yeah, I, I'm not really good at this. So, uh, oh yeah, root scene. And then I connect this one. For example, I will just render a, a sphere. Where is my uh, where is my render? Is this the right one? Scene. No, oh, it should be right. Scene window. Where is my window? Oh, there you are. Okay. So this is the scene window. And then uh, I would just want to render a sphere. If you press, for example, scene window F4, then you can. Hey, what is it? F4? Oh, yeah. So we can get a grid. So you don't really have to use the axis and grid node anymore. And then I would like to add a sphere here. So, oh, not this one. Uh, sphere. Let's try watch it. So I just connect this one here. And then I got a sphere. It's a bit small. So I'll make it bigger. Oh, it's too big. Okay, and right now it's black, so you might not see. What you can do is we can add a PBR material. So if you know about super physical, you might already know about this material. So if you just connect this one here, then change the metalness. And, okay, that material. Right? Oh, and I need a lighting, so I'll add a skybox. Oh, skybox light. Sky box light then I click this one and then I should be able to connect it here so now I have the lighting so we can see the sphere right here I like to increase the uh, tessellation to 32 so that the edge looks a bit more smooth so like this workflow is very similar but for example the sky light box sky box light is something from game engine uh, we do also have a red direction light uh, as well. So if I connect this one, then it acts like the direction light in VVVV. You can also uh, add another group and then add both direction light and the skybox. So before we had to connect here to direction light, but we could only like uh, let have one lighting. But with VV gamma and uh, VV gamma, you can actually connect different types of lighting, which is also really cool. And I'll also add a plane, uh, ground plane, ground plane, uh, just for the ground. So I'm going to connect this one here. I'll add another group for the root scene. So like, like this, then I'll add a PBR material for the floor as well. And I'll lower down the metallicness. I'll change the color a little bit. Yep. Then glossiness a little bit. Okay. And I'll make the radius is smaller. I also want to change the color. So these, like the changing colors, control and dragging, or like shift and dragging. So these are really sim like the same as VVVV uh, beta. So uh, once you learned VVV beta through my tutorial and your other materials, then it, for you, it should be really easy to start up with VV gamma. Of course, some of the beginning uh, part is a bit different so I might make a tutorial in future but not yet because this is not released but like as you can see like I haven't added anything related to shadow but it already has a shadow here and the skylight also looks really really good I'll scale this up so as you can see it looks really really beautiful and this kind of stuff was not that easy to do in PVVV beta but with gamma Man, this is really, really easy and it's really, really in a good quality and super, super stable. And as you can see, my CPU is all running. So with VVVV, only, I only had one CPU thread working, but with VVVV Gamma, I can have 
all of them working together so that it not I finally can use my entire machine spec. Yeah, so this is like a basic workaround with uh VVVV Gamma. I mean, if you're working on like this one is a dedicated to stride game engine, so if you're interested in using the basic VVVV Gamma function, then uh the nodes that you have to use might be different. But I think this is really, really cool. Oh, and you can also, for example, add a post effect. So I've been also sharing some technique on VVV Beta on how to create post effects, like getting the render out and then adding some post effect. But in VVVV uh, Gamma Stride, you can actually connect a post effect node. And as you can see, we already got a really different result. So without this, uh, the result of this, but with post effect node somehow, in, already looks super rich and we can also add an ambient occlusion for example then we can connect it here then immediately we can get an ambient occlusion so this part between the sphere and the ground plane looks uh, i'll add a translate uh, 3d bring this guy a little bit higher so as you can see the part that is touching looks really really good with ambient occlusion, we can also add a depth of field uh, to the post processing as well. Then immediately, without rendering the texture once, we can get a post like blur effect. I'll delete the grid, uh, and then we can also change the area and the size of the dot. So if you want to make it really strong, oh, I made it too strong. Oh shit! Go down. Okay, yeah, this it was acting a bit weird. So depth of field, and then you can also check like what kind of, okay, I can add a bloom. So let's see if there's a bloom node. Yes, there is. So we can connect this one. And then, uh, yeah, we can add a bloom. Oh wait, I have nothing that's blooming, so it doesn't do anything. But I mean, there's a lot you can do here, and this is really powerful. And as you can see, it's working really fast. And I don't, I believe you don't really need a high spec computer just to do this kind of stuff. So if you haven't tested, uh, wait for Node if you want to try. Uh, if you're interested in paying the community, uh, just go and get it. Yep. So this is, I'll also share some different, uh, samples. So in, the, so this is like the learning, uh, documentation that they've implemented for VV Gamma, which is really, really cool. So I opened, so there's like a few different, uh, not Skia the stride sample patch already and you can click and open one of them so i have few of them open already so let's see how those work uh, for example i have a random sphere so this one is the scene for this what it does is it generates a collision and a physics in vvv gamma and stride and as you can see, the entire patch doesn't look that complicated. These are the root scene stuff that we just did. This is a ground plane for the floor, for the for, glide. For and this is the basic sphere so the, for the center. So I can scale this one up and down. So this one is the one that the other... So this one is static mesh. And then these are the dynamic ones. So set physics and there's just, just this sphere. And then transforming and they're repeating this random thing so that you can have like random spheres and they've also connected the PBR material and the reason why it's outside is because they want to affect this this to affect the entire scene well it can actually be inside it doesn't really matter it does no and yeah so this is sort of, sort of like a loop function that's new for VV gamma and if you put everything here you can do some sort of like spread uh, you can design your own like loop function in VV Gamma. So like applying physics with VV Beta, we had to do with uh, super, uh, bullet physics and then we had to like, set the root node and to make the entire scene with bullet, but with VV Gamma with Stride, you can actually do it really, really simply. This is also cool stuff. And another example that I want to show is, I think this one is the one from the lighting. Oh no, no, this one is the post effect one. So this is how I learned the post effect. 
uh, yeah, here. So these are the these are the patch just for this. And as you can see, so these are the post effects that you can connect. So ambient occlusion, uh, local reflection. So if I turn this one off, I'll lose the reflection. Did I? Oh yeah. So look, I lost the reflection. Depth of field, bright filter. It also has a tone mapping. So this one was in super physical, but here you can do it just like this. And you can also play around as like VVVV. So exposure. And I think someone asked me about this kind of blooming effect. And you can actually do that in VVV Gamma quite easily as well. So this is really cool. However, uh, so this entire scene doesn't seem to be generated here. It's in, inside this torus scene. So it's sort of like a grouping function you can have in VVV Beta. So this is the one that's generating the entire scene. It looks a bit complicated, but basically it's just playing with torus, with loop and random spread and the lighting dedicated for this scene. So it's not that complicated as well. Yeah, and I really like the quality of this scene, like the reflection and the glooming effect. They all look really, and the ambient occlusion, of course, they all look really rich. So yeah, this is it. And they also had this lighting uh, example patch where you can learn about lighting, a skybox of ambient light. So this LFO thing is changing between the scene. If I move four is the ambient lighting. So this is the ambient lighting that we have right now. Skylight gives this soft effect. If I change this one to spotlight, then as you can see, uh, you can learn a lot. So I'm, I'm really excited to see this being released at node 20 and uh yeah i just wanted you guys to have some sort of like uh touch to what's happening in the entire community and this vivi gamma and stride game digit implementation is definitely something uh that is something really cool for all of you and for those who've been following my vv beta tr uh, graphics tutorial i believe it wouldn't be that difficult for you guys to start vv gamma and stride whenever it gets released and i'm also very very interested in like giving some uh, tutorials based on this as well so i also have to learn a lot about this but i'm really looking forward so yeah that was sort of it for today and for last i want i have one thing that i want to announce so on this friday i'm giving a vvvv beta graphics a webinar at node institute and i think some of you have already purchased but i think there's still a seat so if you're interested in joining this I'm gonna sh be sharing the entire process on how I created this visual. And uh, also I love to talk with those who've been following my tutorial and have some chat there. And if there's any interest topic that you guys want to listen, I I've been really, really running out of topic to share for this webinar, uh, for this online tutorial. So uh, we'll be, we'd love to see you guys there. There's a way to book for free. There is a way to book for 40 euro anyways i think it's going to be i'm trying to prepare the most out of it so that the, you guys when you guys join this webinar you would at least like like how do you say i would at least give share you guys amount of price that you paid for it so oh yeah and so this is the patch that i'm going to be sharing so we're going to step by step learn how to create this and also there's a lot of stuff in here that i've been sharing on my tutorial but i haven't been able to share it in detail so i'm interested in sharing that kind of stuff as well if you have any question i think this will be a really good time for you uh for to have a question and talk about it as well but yeah so please feel free to sign up for my webinar at Node Institute. Okay, so that was it for today. Sorry, it wasn't a tutorial uh, for next time. I think it'll be next Tuesday because this Friday I'm giving a workshop, a webinar, so I'm going to be a bit busy. But I'll see you guys next Tuesday. And thanks for watching.